Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Mentimeter for questions. Whether you're looking to use it for open-ended questions in a presentation, or you're looking to create a questionnaire or survey, I'll be showing you how to do that in this tutorial. The first thing you want to do if you don't have a Mentimeter account as yet, you're going to go onto Mentimeter.com and from there you're going to create an account. You can get started for completely free. After creating your account, you'll be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And on this dashboard, you're going to scroll down and you'll see the option open-ended. If it is an open-ended question you wanted to ask, you could select it and you can see numerous templates that you can choose from. One of the standout features when it comes onto Mentimeter is they provide you with numerous professional looking templates. So you can select whichever one of these templates would suit you or you can tap on blank. If we were to select blank for example sake, you will be redirected to a new page. At the top of the page, you could type in your open-ended questions right there, and below it, you will see all of the responses later on. So once you have presented it, you will see all of your responses right here. You can also add different pages to the slide by going over to the top left-hand corner and selecting new slide. You could add different pages as you can see right there. And this is a section where you would add multiple choice or so on if it is a case that you don't only want to ask open-ended questions or if multiple choice questions was your main aim. From here, you could select multiple choice. After selecting multiple choice, you can tap at the top and you could type in your question. After typing in your question, you will tap right where you see option then go over to the right hand column and you can type in the different suggested answers. And if you want to show the correct answer, you can toggle on choose correct answers right there and then you can tick the correct answer. Keep in mind you can also add an image beside them if you want and you can change the visualization type. For example, at the moment it is using a bar chart. If you would like to change that to a donut, you can do that. You can also change it to a pie chart if you want or you can use dots and you can scroll down and you can also create different segmentations if you want and if we were to go over to the top left hand corner once more and tap on new slide from there you can see different type of questions that you can ask so you could create a q a and you could ask persons questions right there you can also scroll down and from there you can add text and so much more. So you have numerous options when it comes on to Mentimeter. And once you're finished, all you'll need to do is tap on share and you'll be able to share it. Or you can tap on present and you'll be able to present it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. 